Hey y'all, it's Joe. Just Joe. I got a hair in my eye. <laughs> and we are fixing to do an unboxing. I got my Allure Beauty Box in. If you like unboxings or this type of video in general, please like, comment, and subscribe below. And let's just get into the video. Now, there's been a little controversy about the October box. People are getting charged $23, but Allure is saying the new box won't start until December. I'm grandfathered in because I paid for a year um, in August, I believe. So I was grandfathered in at 15 but a lot of people are being charged $23, and they're saying this is just the old box and the lure saying the new box doesn't come out till December. So let's get this box open and see what we think about the box and if it's worth the $23 that most people are being charged. So the box itself usually has a magazine on top when you open it and then underneath some red tissue paper with um, the products inside. So let's go ahead and open the box. And here's the magazine. I don't feel the tissue paper, so maybe they're trying to save money that way. Um, this is a little pamphlet, and inside the pamphlet it has the products you get, and it doesn't, what it tells about the products is just what the person that, who works at a lower pick, so let's just pick a page. Like, there's a circle here, this person picked this product, this person works at a lower and they just tell a little bit why they like the product. So it is different than like BoxyCharm or Ipsy in that way. So let's go ahead and pick the product out. Okay, we've got a little Sigma Liquid Lip in Venom, which looks really pretty. Let's open her up. I don't think I've ever had, no, I've never tried Sigma's Liquid Lip. That's a really pretty shade. And this is perfect to throw in your purse or so. I love these little travel ones to throw in the purse. So, let's open the book up. Okay. And we have Jahan Forbes right there. And she says, At a time when loungewear has become workwear, a little lipstick can go a long way toward making me feel more better together on a Zoom call. Venom is a classic red, not too orange, with blue undertones. When it comes to bold shades, I prefer a liquid formula that I don't have to const constantly touch up. This one goes on with a velvet consistency that is the opposite of drying. That's because it's not a matte matte, it's satin. And what's most impressive is the staying power. When the color did start to fade after I started eating, it happened gracefully without leaving behind those crumbly bits you can sometimes get after your liquid lipstick has stayed on too long. And this obviously is a deluxe size, but the full size is $20. Let's go in and find something else. Okay. La Rouge Pose Laboratories Dermatolic. Olympicor Balm AP Plus Intense Repair and Moisturizing Cream. I'm assuming on the side here is what the full size would look like. This is 0.5 ounces and the full size is 13.52 ounces. And Elizabeth Siegel says, at Allure we talk a lot about basic moisturizers. Simple formulas that make skin glow without the extra stuff like fragrances that can dehydrate or create sensitivity. La Roche Posay's paired back formula fits the bill. It's gentle enough for eczema prone skin and babies, but effective enough that I got rid of my stubborn flaky patch where my ring rubs against my pinky. It's rich and creamy yet unassuming after it's been applied. There's no slippery feel and no strong scent to compete with perfume after using it. My arms and legs are soft and my hands are pre pandemic level smooth. And it's $19.99 for 400 milliliters. Which that's not bad. 20 bucks for a good lotion isn't bad. Let's just go ahead and open this up. 
It says it's sprayed or it's free. Yeah, I don't smell anything. But my hands are dry, so let's just go ahead and get a good bit here. Feels fun. It's not greasy, and it seems to sink in really well. I need a little more. Yeah, I like. I actually like that a lot. So that's nice. It's not much um, in size for hand cream. You wouldn't get too many uses out of this, but it is a nice to throw in purse in case you do need something. Let's see, let's get another item. This is the new Co Topical C uh, Powdered Vitamin C is activated in the palm of your hand, helping to boost collagen production, reduce fine lines, and brighten skin. Ferulic acid stabilizes and increases absorption with colloidal oatmeal and aloe vera smooth and calm. It says two to three shakes, which means that you're sh probably shaking this into a moisturizer, serum, or mix it with water to apply the skin. I actually like vitamin C serums. I don't know. I've never tried a powder form. Let's see what the person from Allure says. I've tested dozens, if not hundreds, of serums, and many are too heavy for my skin, which often breaks out if I go beyond my usual moisturizer and eye cream routine. But the Nuco Topical C has changed the game. It's a powder that you mix into your other skincare products, or even water, and it lets me easily incorporate vitamin C into my regimen without adding weight. It is the skincare equivalent of those expensive boosts advertised in the smoothie shop menus. I add a few shakes of this powder to a gel moisturizer and get skin that looks a whole lot brighter without any break breakouts. Okay, let's get the next product. Um, this is Super Eye Serum. I love eye serums. I get eye serums any day. And this is Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. It's got a 5 on it, which a lot of skincare that has steps will be like 1 through 6 or 1 through 8. We'll just have a number on it. I'm assuming that's what the number's for. Verso Skincare. Let's see what somebody has to say about that. If you're the type of person who remembers to use eye cream every day, you're probably also a pro at keeping plants alive. Yeah, I don't think. That's not right. <laughs> I can't keep house plants alive. There's no excuse for my purposely wilted ficus, but that reason I rarely use eye cream is because 95% of the ones I've tried makes my eyes water, create little bumps around my lids, or fail to deliver noticeable benefits. But Verso Super 8 Serum is among the verified 5%. The lightweight texture doesn't irritate my eyes, even with retinol as a star ingredient. And the applicator enables me to apply pinhead sized dots of product, which I pat even with my ring finger directly on my under eye. After using the serum nightly for about two weeks, my dark circles were less purple and my under eye bags were less puffy. So that's four serums. I would, I would say two deluxe size, two full size. And then we have, and this would be a full size nail polish from Static Nails in the color Irene. And I, as a person who used to gel manicures, get gel manicures bi-weekly, I've shifted to doing my own nails. Irene has become an unexpected favorite. I typically stay away from nudes, but this color lo looks like a dusty rose against my fair skin, which brings out my warm undertones and feels more exciting than beige. The first swipe goes on sheer, but the cruelty-free formula, which doesn't contain questionable ingredients like formaldehyde or tulin, layers into a semi-opaque finish. Also, it applies so thin that I feel like it dries e extra quickly. And this is $16. And the next product is Dr. Jart, and this stuff's expensive. I do remember that. This is just a little guy. It is 10 milliliters. 
the big guy is 50 milliliters at $48. When I was working my first beauty job, I thought moisturizers were just supposed to hydrate, but I was wrong. They also make sure your face retains as much existing moisture as possible. The ceramide, ceramide in line uses a blend of ceramides, fat, juicy molecules that act like glue between skin cells, so precious moisture cannot escape. The cream also has botanical extracts like artichoke, which smooths fine lines, and turmeric, an antibacterial. It spreads like soft butter and creates a lightweight barrier. I like to think of it as a saran wrap of my skin routine where moisture gets trapped for the day ahead. Alright. Well, that's obviously a sample size. I'm trying to keep our full sizes away from our deluxe sizes. And we've got Oh, this is the, the extra native big shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's cruelty free, free of sulfates, parabens, silicones, artificial colorants, gluten, and cruelty free. And this actually comes with a 20% off coupon at Ulta. Um, I'm not really looking for a new shampoo, but I, this actually intrigues me because of all the stuff it's free of. But we'll see. So that's definitely a sample size. And I think this is the last product. Let me look in the book. Yeah. That's it on that. One of my cats is meowing at another cat. I guess they're talking. So if you hear something, that's what you'll hear. And this is Wilma Schumann Near Pen Skincare Hydrating Collagen Eye Pads. I love eye pads. And this is just one set. And it's usually $18 for five sets. I'm sure I'm not the only person who has awakened in the middle of the night with anxiety lately trying to recall if I put on hand sanitizer before touching my face or tossing because I feel a tickle in my throat. When I finally come out of bed, I've got panda eyes, which is even more obvious on video calls because of the unflattering overhead lighting in my home. I take into putting on these eye pads first thing in the morning while I meditate. The gel feels cool and the pads are soaked in hyaluronic acid and hydrolyzed collagen to help plump skin temporarily. After 20 minutes of wearing them while listening to uplifting mantras via an app, I'm left with a sense of calm and a face that looks halfway rested. So that's everything in our Allure box. Um, I don't know that I'd be happy if this was $23. But even though supposedly Allure said the new box happens in December, I do believe there was three full-size products. The eye cream, the vitamin C powder, and the nail polish. And then our eye patches, our shampoo and conditioner, our deluxe size of our hand cream, the face cream, and our deluxe size Sigma lipstick. So that's five sample sizes. And I still don't think I'd have been happy with paying $23 for what we got, but I, I'm pretty happy with $15. So I guess overall, if you or grandfathered in at the $15. I think the box was worth it. And I hope that everybody loves their box. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you're staying safe. And I hope you're making good decisions. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.